Chris, today I'm going to read the Bible story. <coughs> the Bible story title is The Love of Jesus, Matthew 27. Kill Jesus on the cross, said Pontius Pilate. People should <coughs> shout it to nail Jesus on the cross. Jesus had to die on the cross. People best be beat Jesus. They put a crown on of throne on his head. While people were wait, watching Jesus on the on the cross Jesus loved the people Jesus shared Jesus died on the cross Jesus loved the people Jesus shed water blood on the cross of them Jesus died all the nice things for them but he had to die on the cross. God, please forgive me. They don't know what they're doing. Pray, Jesus. Jesus has died on the cross for us, right? People shouted to kill Jesus, but Jesus left them. Jesus should show them God's love. Truly, he was the Son of God, said one of the soldiers. Jesus died. The this, this sun lost its light. The world became dark. Jesus showed his love for us when he died on the cross. Jesus loves us very much. <coughs> Jesus died because he loved us very much. He died because he wanted to talk to talk us to God. Take to take us to God. Who can love us more than Jesus does? Jesus has died for us, right? Twenty three chapter Jesus in is reason Mary and Mary was very sad because the people killed Jesus. Mary went to Jesus' tomb. His tomb was sealed by the people with a large stone. But the large stone was gone. Mary told the disciple, somebody took Jesus. The disciple went to look at the tomb, but Jesus was not there. Someone took Jesus, said Mary. Mary cried. After the disciple left, she looked into the tomb. She was, she saw two angels in white gown. The angel asked Mary, Why are you crying? Mary looked back saying, 
it's just it's not here then the so someone was standing there and then she saw someone standing there what are you crying are you looking for someone asked the man someone took jesus said mary mary called the man mary was surprised mary couldn't believe it jesus was standing in front of mary jesus mary was so happy jesus was alive that's right I cannot stay with you, said Jesus. I have to go to my house in heaven. Now Mary could see Jesus as the Son of God. Jesus said to Mary, Go and tell the disciples that I will wait for them in Galilee. Tell the people about Jesus. Jesus said, to the disciple when he met them in Galilee. Go to the world, tell, tell the whole world that I have done for you. After saying this, Jesus went up to heaven the disciple watched him for a long time. Angels said to disciples, Jesus will come back the same way you saw him go. <clears throat> Remember what Jesus said and preach the good news. The disciple got to know that Jesus <coughs> was the Son of God. Jesus died on the cross. Jesus was raised and went to heaven. He promised to come back. Only the Son of God could do it. The disciple knew that only Jesus could take them to God. The disciples went everywhere. They wanted to hear and there. They went here and there. They told the people about Jesus. The people who killed Jesus tried to kill them too. But they were still, still saying. <laughs> The disciple told people about Jesus bravely. People wanted to hear. To hear about Jesus more than what to know on way to God. Some people didn't like the disciple. They tried to put them in jail, but the disciple were happy because many people began to love Jesus. They told people more about Jesus. I will read maybe your most chapter. Philip and an Egyptian. Leave this village, said an angel to Philip. Go to a place where I tell you. Philip went to the pal place the angel told him about. It was on the way to Jerusalem. It was a wild field where there is no one here. How can I preach God's message, said Philip. Oh, it is a desert, I think. Hmm. 
I think this just all like desert. The sunshine is very hot and there is some. Then Philip saw a man coming. He was an Egyptian. Sorry. He was a high official. He was reading the words of God. I think he's like confused. Do you understand what you're reading? Asked Philip. No, I need help. Can you help me? Said the Egyptian. I will help you. God sent me here for you, said Philip. Philip told him the good news about God and Jesus. I want to live as Jesus, said the Egyptian official to Philip. Philip was excited. He understood why God sent him here. The official went to his country and told his people about Jesus. Wow. Yeah, tomorrow I'll read the um, God is better than the sun. And Jesus is better than the sun. Let's see, I read. How many chapter I have read? Mm. Yeah, from twenty two, chapter twenty two, the love of Jesus, and chapter twenty three. Jesus is reason. Chapter 24. Tell the people about Jesus. Twenty-five. Chapter 25. Philip and the uh, Egyptian. Yeah, I have read this much. This much. Should I read this this story again? Is this story also? Yeah, twenty six chapter. Jesus is brighter than the sun. Saul hated Jesus. He hated the disciple of Jesus. He hated the people who loved Jesus. Saul thought Jesus was not the Son of God. Saul thought Jesus was dead. Why do you? Why do people have to follow that pe person? So try very hard to put the disciple in jail. One day, Saul was going to Damascus. It was very far, but Saul wanted to arrest the disciple there. If I put them in jail, they won't follow Jesus anymore, said Paul. Saul. Something wonderful happened. Then he was near the disgust. Suddenly a bright light flashed around him. It was brighter than the sun. Saul fell to the ground. What are you against me, Saul? said someone to Saul. The sun was coming from heaven. Who are you? asked Saul. Saul was scared. He never heard a sound from heaven before. I am Jesus, the one you hate. Hate. Follow me, said Jesus. The sound. The sound. Saul couldn't know that Jesus was alive. Saul could also know that he was the Son of God in heaven. He made up his mind to follow Jesus for the rest of his life. Yeah. Next time I'll read Paul and C.
Silas yang interesting. So I read twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. Six chapters I read. No, maybe four, five. Yeah, I think five chapters. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, to next tomorrow I will read twenty seven chapters. Okay, then bye.